Okay, so this is number six from the 2013 mock um, math counts test uh, target number one. And so um, when you do this problem, uh, there's a couple ways you could start with it. But let's just go ahead and start by drawing our decagon in because it's going to be helpful to us. Anytime you're asked to find a, draw a regular polygon, I always think the best way to do it is actually to use a circle as a template. So I'm going to draw a circle in as best I can. I'm not a, it's not a great circle, but it's going to be good enough. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make 10 evenly spaced um, dots around my circle. And so I've uh, put two that are right opposite each other because it's a whenever you have an even number of sides, you're going to have um, vertices that are um, exactly opposite of each other that are actually the diameter of the circle. And then I need to have four on either side. And so I just think about how can I cre put four evenly spaced marks and I just do the best I can. It may not be perfect, which mine is not here, but it's going to ultimately be good enough for a problem like this. And then I'm going to go through and connect the dots and create my regular or close as close as I can get decagon. And so there is my decagon. And so on this problem you're talking about diagonals and you're it's a probability problem, so you need to know what's the total number of diagonals. There are a couple different formulas people use. Probably the one that's most common is that um, from any one diagonal or one vertice, you can draw a diagonal to every point except for itself, the point that's right next to it on both sides. And so that means that there are three of the points that you can't draw a diagonal to. So for each vertice, there's going to be all but three that you can draw a diagonal to, so you got 10 times 7, but when you count, uh, for instance, this diagonal for that vertice, you're also counting it for this vertice, so everyone's counted twice, so you have to divide it by 2 to get 35 diagonals. So there are 35 total diagonals in a decagon. Uh, the formula, if you want to know it, is n times n minus 3 over 2. Well, now you've got to count the shortest and the longest diagonals. Well, the longest diagonals, um, which is where the circle come, helps us, has to be the diameter of the circle, or the one that's closest to the diameter. Well, in this case, there are diameters. Well, how many diameters are there? From this point, you can draw one diameter in, so that's the case for all 10 points, but just like we did before, um, that diameter is being counted twice, so you have to divide by 2. So there are five diameters that are the longest. How many are the shortest? Well, the shortest is going to be connecting a point, not with the one next to it, because that's a side, but with one that is two, two dots away, two vertices away, and it can go both ways. So for each diagonal, there are two shortest, di or each vertice, there are two shortest diagonals possible. And so that means we're going to do um, 10 vertices times two, but for the same reason we have this whole problem, we've got to divide by two. And so that means there are 15 that fit in this shortest or longest. So 35 minus 15 is 20 that are not. Um, we, we did complementary counting, and so there's 20 that are not. Um, 20 over 35 is going to give you 4 sevenths. And so the correct answer to this problem is 4 sevenths because there are 20 diagonals that are neither the shortest, shortest nor one of the um, longest diagonals.